the client requests for it I'm the type to say well let's let's see what I can do let me try to pull it off for you Uh, my name is Demetrius Tony, and uh, by trade, I'm a sound engineer, which means I um, record, edit, mix, master, um, anything audio related, live sound, on location, you name it. Media in general is my outlet. Um, emotionally, I guess you could say. So when it comes to expressing myself, generally speaking, I'm not a big talker. So um, I need to get it out, I need to communicate it, and through media, um, expressing myself through creativity is kind of how I do that, which of course translates into passion because that's my only way to get it out, that's my only way to express myself. Give it up, I gotta say uh, rest in peace to my little cousin, my little cousin. I'm repping MJ, you know, he's, a, he's an advocate. Peace and love, peace and love, you know what it is. Your PCP boys is here, full effect, with another week. About to give y'all some, some good shit. Um, man, we ain't gonna waste no time, we gonna get right to it. Your man, I'm the host today, and for all of my listeners who look forward to me hosting, you know what energy I'm bringing. I'm bringing that for financial literacy, empowerment, that type of shit. You know, we're going gonna to get into some, some, some grown men shit too. I like to keep it balanced, but you know what I do. Um, so yeah, so um, man, we here. Brothers is here. We healthy. Uh, so let's go around the table, introduce everybody. Uh, man, let's start. Bottom of the map, my man Naz, what's up? What's up, fellas? Let's go. All right, man, let's move our way up. Starting in the natty, the, the king of retail, whatever you want to call them, uh, uh, low, what it is, man. Good evening, good brothers. Glad to see y'all in good health. Let's go. Hey, working my man, working my man hard. All right, we're going to get to that. That's going to be a, a topic of discussion for sure. All right, we're going to move our way up a little bit more to the CO. My first my, my first city that I, that I lived in as a grown man, Feezy, what's good, man? Yes, sir, man. I'm on the road right now. I'm ready to chop it up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Keep me company on this drive. So let's get it. Man, you on the road, but you with us, man. That's all that matters, dog. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Let's come out to this come out to this side. DMV straight out of DC by way of Chicago. What it is. Bike Tyson DC. checking in. Bike Tyson. Let's get it, baby. Bike Tyson. Bike, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Bike Tyson's very own. <laughs> Mike Tyson, me. Yes, I'm gonna sir. give you that. You you got two Mike of them Tyson. that you got definitely. <laughs> Nat yeah. King Cole and uh, Mike Tyson. I, I'm gonna still, give you those two. That's that's he, good. Hey, stuff. He he owned that shit. Yeah. So yeah, man. So check it. Yes. And like I said, it's your boy Dale. I'm hosting. We're gonna get into it. Uh and by way of talking this empowerment talk, man, we gotta give a uh a, 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 a quick plug, man, to one of our faithful listeners. Uh, one who always holds us down, Ms. Jamila Collins. Uh, she just recently released a book, authored a book. This book is called uh, The Black Woman's Guide to Love and Business, A Blueprint to Self-Mastery. I don't have it, uh, but I will make sure that I can get it. And you girl, you girls, you, pick, you good folks out there can uh, go to her IG page and get all of the details for it. Uh, she can be reached at I am Jamila Marie. That is I A M J A M I L A M A R I E. I am Jamila Marie. Hit her up, get a book, tell her that PCP sent you. And uh, Jamila, like always, we appreciate you for tuning in and supporting us like you do. So, man, yeah. yes. And matter of fact, there, what Ooh. we can do real quick. Um, I want to cop that book and then we can actually put that on our IG page too. So that way uh, people can get it 
can at least see it on there and, and have a link to go to her. So, yeah, shout out to Jamila, man. We go back to his high school. So, yes, yeah, shout out to her, man. She's doing big things, man. Yes, man. She's doing extra big things out there in the CO, man. So, yep. So you can find her on her page. We're going to make sure we put it on our page. Uh, so man, go come check us out. You know, all our handles, you know, all our platforms, you can, you can find more information and details on it. So boom, man, let's get to it. Uh, biggest thing going on right now, man, is them motherfucking stimmies. Okay. <laughs> the motherfucking stimulus checks. Um, and man, I mean, I, the 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 uh, I don't know outrage uh, just that everything that's that's happening with the hype behind all of these uh, stimulus checks, man, they going crazy. They going crazy. Uh, so my first thing, what I say about when it comes to the stimulus checks is, dog, this is if if this shit is a sign for what's to come if we ever get reparations, like. Are we ready? Like, what's going to happen when we get we get our reparate we get our reparations in the form of a check? You know what's going to happen? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, we, you know we, what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, man. We, right I'm now. going to buy a baby cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, hey, hey, look, right? You gonna be you gonna be ahead like my dude, my dude Tron from Chappelle <laughs> Show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, man. But my man's trying. This shit is sad, man. But what's what's y'all experience been, man? What's y'all what what's the craziest shit y'all seen? Craziest shit y'all heard? What's going on? What y'all what what's the energy like about the I, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, man. If you live by a Costco like I do, like you, Jesus. Stimmies was the worst thing that ever <laughs> ever happened, dog. Co Costco didn't got all them all that stimulus money. Directly and indirectly, man. Oh, we mean, said we needed them. I, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm just saying it, it. It definitely stimulated some some shopping because I didn't see cats walking up down the street with TVs, <laughs> all types of stuff. Man, it's crazy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it, it, it's definitely then it stimulated the retail um, arena, the industry. No matter if it's retail sales, retail. Uh, commercial, retail, anything, everything is booming right now because of the stimmies. Fucked up. Well, let me ask you. Yeah. Let, 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 oh, okay, go ahead, Lo. Oh, no, I was just, just piggyback off what Mean said. I mean, uh, it's, uh, I guess, I mean, let, let, let's, let's say what it is first. Uh, it's to stimulate the economy. I mean, that's, you know, and that's exactly right. what it's doing. Uh, regardless of how you feel, people are spending the money. Uh, <laughs> this money was supposed to just get our economy back together. I mean, it, it was a ploy from the government, you know, to get these corporations, uh, you know, the bottom of the line is back, back in line. That's, that's, that's how it stimulated the economy. So, I mean, they're, they're being used, I guess, from them accordingly. But from um, from a illiterate financial side person, you know, probably I mean I, I would say you probably would disagree. Um, I just never seen. I mean, so how many? I just not, I don't get how many TVs people actually can. Let, have. let, 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 let <laughs> me hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Lo. Let me let, let me give let me give the audience a bit of context. My brother that's that's speaking. He 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 manages. I don't know if I want to say the store, but he manages a, a, a retail. He's like a retail giant. Like he he run. He interacts with three thousand something people a day. How how many people report to you? He's a retail manager. Three hundred twenty five. Three hundred twenty five people. So this is this <laughs> this is like G fourteen classified shit going. Go ahead, bro. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> uh, as I was saying to me, I just. It, it, it just blows my mind. I mean, even for the last few years, uh, being with the company, it always blew my mind. Like people always buying TVs, and I know in my home, you know, I, I got flats in every room. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, I got flats, big TVs, small TVs. But what I, hold on, what I'm saying is, 
I ain't bought a TV in five years. Right. I mean, so, so listen, I mean, I, I don't know if the people that every year they switch them out or they're going bigger. I, I have no idea. Well, they fascinated is, is, with TVs. It, yeah, it's like a myth. I mean, you just can't even you, you, you can't even keep a, a a TV in stock right now. But it, it's mind blowing. That's the first thing people buy. <laughs> When uh, <laughs> when they get a little change in their pocket, I mean, I've never seen them like it in my life. Uh, but I will say, absolutely, uh, the STEMI is definitely st stimulating the economy. Uh, it's just people need to understand that you know it's hard to plan for just like we planning for the pandemic. It's hard to plan for something like this. Uh, when people get money in their pocket like this. I mean. Because you got to understand, it's STEMI season times uh, tax season. Right. So, right. <laughs> so you know, you, you're getting people with, you know, really $10,000, $10,000. I mean, I, I know people personally who have came up $10,000, $11,000 from stimulus checks and, you know, a child credits, things like that. So, I mean, a lot of money just burns to their pocket. But, but the problem is... The, here's the problem that okay. I'll, I'll back off. You know, when you have that person who gets ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars in in their bank account, it feels you know they're set for life. So they don't come to work. You right. know what I mean? Right. That side. <laughs> Damn. Right. Yeah, I mean, Damn. It, it, it's it, it's it's a whole. It's it's, it's cause slow. and effect. Yeah, very 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 slippery slope. And you know that that's kind of what I'm facing uh, at the moment. You know, and you, you you try to talk to them, to sense to like, you know, hey guys, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm glad you, you got a little change in your pocket, but ten thousand dollars is not a lot of money. And Dale, like, and Dale, look, know. I already know what you're about to go into, mm -hmm. like the scheduling mm -hmm. out of your bills and and knowing what wow. to, what to invest, mm -hmm. what to pay off, what to save. I mean, all that went out the window when the, when that shit hit that motherfucking bank account. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least get ahead on rent, man. Like, come on, like, yeah, well, uh, I'm, 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 I'm a couple months. You're not gonna pay ahead I'm a, a couple I'm a, months. I'm gonna come up from a different angle, you know, um, because I don't, you know, no matter what goes on, it's always gonna be a motherfucker that's gonna be out here blowing money or being irresponsible with their money. I don't care what you want to call it—a stimulus check, tax money, credit, this, whatever. Um, I'm gonna come from a different angle. I know some people that, but Lo talked about the bottom line being corrected. I know some people that have been corrected because of the stimulus check. You know, they they got back upright with their rent. They got their their light bill back under control. They wow. paid off a couple of credit card bills. They paid that daycare bill that kept going during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Um, child care costs, grocery costs, car note costs. You know, put your put your savings back at least in a in a functional manner because you had to deplete it. You know, so for those people, it was a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, not everybody out here blows their money. It's people out here that needed that money. And when they got the money, they used it responsibly and how they were supposed to. I know we may want to highlight, you know, and laugh and joke about these motherfuckers that, that's buying TVs and, and blowing the money. That's obvious. It's always going to be people that blow money. And so you don't even, you know, so that, that's just going to happen. But there are people out here that are spending that money responsibly. And, regardless, and regardless, I wanted to highlight that. No, you know. Of, hey, that's fine. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, regardless of what I was saying, Feezy, understand what I'm saying. Stimulating the economy. That, that's just exactly. what it is. That's money, what it's hold for. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. The money isn't... The government can care less about uh, uh, cu Cousin Cheryl paying off a daycare bill or uh, getting back uh, uh, a credit card bill. They just want to see the money back circulated into in, these bottom lines. <laughs> That's it. Point blank period. <laughs> That's what it is. And it, it, it's happening. 
Balance sheets. Look, balance sheets and income statements. Those brother. those that <laughs> did those that did come up and and made the right decision with the bread. I mean, I'm I, I salute that that could because that's to me. That you know problem. what I mean? That's to me the way what you should be doing with it. The fact that they want you to stimulate the economy shouldn't matter more than your actual bottom line should matter to me. Like, yeah, you, you they want you to stimulate the economy, but you behind on rent two months. Like, you need to make sure you have a place to live. You need to make sure that you're okay for tomorrow instead of standing in the Jordan line. Or like when I was out at Sawgrass Mills Mall this weekend and the Nike line is all the way around the corner back through that the part. My dock. That part. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you... The yeah, mix. like yeah, they want you to stimulate the economy, but do you have to go that route? I'm I'm with Jay. I'm like, do what you got to do to put your get your best foot forward, put some foundation. Most of people ain't ain't seen this kind of money in a long time or ever. So like, I know it's hard to try to get the person to think outside of wanting to go out and splurge it, but I think that you got to be smarter than the game a little bit. Try to play a little chess instead of checkers, like Dale always say. And try to make some moves that's gonna get you ahead. So I'm gonna say but, this. But let's I'm, let let's let's I'm be real ahead. though. Let, let let's be real. Hold on, real, real quick, man. Let, let let's be real. I mean, the unfortunate thing is the ones who've decided to take the responsible route, unfortunately, they're the exception. You know, oh, majority yeah. of what's taking place is the is people with the mentality, like Low said. You know what I'm saying? They like, yo, ten thousand and hit the bank account. I ain't coming to work tomorrow. I ain't coming to work for for a minute, and that's until the money just, until the money run out. Until the money gone, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, but I mean, you know, I just, I just, I just feel like, uh, I mean, shit. You know, if you got if you got people out here that can't manage a hundred dollars, how they gonna manage ten thousand dollars? Yeah, feel me? So. <laughs> So if they doing the same thing that they've been doing. They're not all of a sudden going to be responsible, but at the same time, it, it's, it's, it, there are a lot of people out here that are being responsible with the money and getting they, like you said, Sans, putting their best foot forward, you know, putting they, getting a savings account back functional because a lot of people, you know, had to deplete it yeah. to pay bills. You know what I mean? It's still people that's still in that rent situation where, you know, they weren't able to pay no rent, you know? So now um, that's what they're able to do. So I know, like I said, it's, it's always going to be people that's going to, you know, blow through the money. I mean, to me, that's not a, that's not news to me. That ain't no news. That's not news to me. I want to hear about those people that, that are being responsible. The interesting things that they chose to do with that bread, yeah. You know, open up some IRAs for their kids, open up a 529 for their kids. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a bond, go get you some stocks, you know, invest in something that you, you know, maybe that that home business that you would to fund that, you know, some old home project repairs that can get your house in a position to be sold, you know, or at least rent it out or that old bucket that you had in the driveway. Now you're able to get it fixed, you know, get it up and running that car may be able to be given to somebody that can use it for some good. You know, I like to highlight that because it's always going to be a motherfucker that's going to blow money. That ain't no new news to me. Well, look, I mean, that ain't, ain't new. Ain't that, ain't, that ain't new news, but unfortunately, like, like that's just, that's just the way it is. But check you this, know? this, this, this is really, um, and I think we talked about this in, the, in another cast, man. This is highlights the earn a living wage for the average American. And I'll say average to to I want to say, well I don't I don't believe in a, in a in a middle class I don't even think that exists, but you have the wealthy you have people that are that are pretty much rich and then you have lower class folks that 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 make an earning living wage out here which is the majority of the taxpayers so this just exposed how broke America really is from a from a citizen standpoint. We ain't broke from a wealth standpoint of, of power corporations. Like, you know, you got Bezos and, you know what I'm saying, my man from Tesla, Elon Musk. These cats came up off this whole this whole pandemic. But meanwhile, people were struggling so much, America was, a forced, was forced to get back in debt more to bail us out into yeah. more debt to address a problem, which, again, we shouldn't even have. 
You know what I'm saying? Like majority of our citizens in the United States shouldn't be poor and we shouldn't be depending on stimulus checks, economic relief plans and bailouts just to get us to a, a earnable living right. wage. A, that's a, crazy. To a, to a point where you can actually- that, I mean, that's sleep. crazy. So so really that's the story, dog. And it's fucked up yeah. that you got elected officials that represent the people on the political angle that didn't even vote for this shit. That is crazy as hell. Like you supposed to represent people that are broke in your little county of maybe Ohio or Iowa or rural Illinois or wherever you live, right? West Virginia. And you're not even voting for that, but you want to vote for other, other bills that put money back in your pocket in the wealthiest pocket. That to me, that is crazy, man. But you know, I digress. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> I'm gonna back up. <laughs> that, but and that's how how it's always been, though, man. I mean, let, let's just be honest. Oh yeah, the rich. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll continue to get richer. And I mean, I've, I've always said this personally: that there is no middle class. I mean, right. it's just a half and half not. To yep. me, half like not. you, 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 you yeah. even miss me they, with, the, uh, with the middle class talk. I mean. They, you know, they squeeze. They squeeze the middle class out because you can't. You can't control the middle class. Right. If you if you make it to where it's rich and poor, that's where the control is. Because I'm rich, so I control shit. I can't control the middle class because they got a little bit of money, so I really can't do nothing with them. So I got to squeeze them out the way. The poor people, they're gonna take whatever I get because they poor. You know what I'm saying? And that that's that's the goal. Now I can control you because you need me. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to take these little crumbs that I'm going to throw out at you. Because like you said, Lo, that little buddy money, for real, that ain't no money, for real. Not in the grand yeah. scheme of how, how America ha has portrayed themselves. That right. ain't no money. What the fuck is $1,400, man? Right. You know how fast for it's, oh. it's some people's rent that's $1,400. Right. Facts. Right. Man, so, so hey, they care. That. So, <laughs> so they care for a month. <laughs> right. <laughs> So why so why are so many people against um way uh raising the minimum wage then? Oh man, that's it's going on. All right, man, all right, let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's going to say Dale, man. That's a, that's a transition. That's, that's a transition. Ooh. God damn, man. All right, you know, all right. We going to let's let's get right to it. Now, <laughs> hey, my okay. man, bring it up. Hey, look, I'll go you right into it. Up. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me introduce it. So, uh I think a part of the stimulus package, uh they wanted to raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars um and it, it basically didn't go through so i know there's difference of opinions in here as far as minimum wage goes uh mean take it away i was gonna say this it, it I, I can see it being a very polarizing topic because you have certain states that you know that are revenue generating states they have more population of people and then you have rural states that you know they they don't they're, they're um you know their revenue in that state doesn't really match what what a fifteen dollar minimum wage would look like. So I'll give two examples. If I'm a small business owner in a, in a rural state, and you know I can survive and I can you know I can um you know stay above water or make a profit for my business, and the living uh, minimum wage right now is about seven dollars and twenty five cent. I mean that's that's doable for me. So if my senator or my um, congressman is voting for a, a, a minimum wage increase to fifteen dollars over a five year period. Well, that's going to have an impact on my on my actual overhead in maintaining my employees for my business. Right. Versus the same business that may be in New York City or Chicago. Well, shit, they like making I need that 15 because I can't live in New York off fifteen dollars an hour and I only make seven dollars an hour. So I need that 15 hours. So I can see why it's such a hot topic. I think that it should be, um, the bill should be written in a way that it's a case by case basis. You know, it's a, it's a term called states rights, right? So just because the federal government may mandate something, the state does not have to actually abide by it, 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 it uh, up to a certain extent. So for a state like West Virginia, they may can adapt some some aspect of the minimum wage increase, but they don't have to increase it up to $15 an hour because that will kill the little towns of West Virginia. I understand that. But I just feel like everybody should not have to suffer because of West Virginia. 
You see what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. my, my brothers and sisters that, that work in Miami and fucking New York, California, in these major metropolises, oh, these motherfuckers don't make no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, to live in New York City is impossible. To, uh, on minimum wage, like, but is it? But let, let, me, let me let me let me ask it in, in a different way. So, is the whole minimum wage because that's a steep hike, right? Is that raise? But is it really steep the, though, Dan? What, what's what's the steep? What's the steep hike? I mean, like right, you just said, steep? like if you're going from seven dollars to to fifteen dollars, that's a fucking o- hike. over over a five year period though. It ain't just instant. Okay, all right, bro. Gradual. So, so it go like from seven to like nine to like right, eleven, to, right? Yeah. Over five years, yes. So was that a pipe dream? So was that a pipe dream, or that's a realistic thing to you? It's realistic. I feel like it's realistic. It's realistic. How can it not be realistic? Like, I mean, we we act like like prices haven't gone up exponentially right. in the last nowhere. ten years. Right. Gas prices, right. car prices, rent. Everything is exponentially more expensive than it was 10 years ago. And we are still right. at seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour for people to live exactly. a life. That's and ridiculous. That, and, and look, man. remember, remember, that's the fixed minimum minimum wage for the United States. It's insane to me that 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 this is even a conversation. People are like, well, my business is gonna suffer. So what? You ain't gonna be able to get the third boat, man. I'm sorry, I don't feel sorry for you, bro. <laughs> Listen, you ain't gonna be able to buy your. Oh, my house. point. I, I my mean, point like, is. This, my point is when it comes living when it, wage. That's when not it, when asking. it comes when it comes to when it comes to just I, I just don't want people to fall for the okie doke and assume that just because the minimum wage goes up that all their problems are solved. Oh no, no, that's not no, it. we're not saying that. Fifteen, no, we're not. I'm not because when not saying fifteen that the goes, problems gonna be solved. Go ahead, Dale. Because when shit goes up to fifteen dollars, nigga, everything else is going up. Right, inflation. That's, that's it. Everything like, is already going it's up. Already though. going that's up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Your rent, your but, rent but, but goes just, up every time. Every year it goes every up. Year. Every year. For the and everything is every so. If it's all, if everything is already going up with minimum wage at seven dollars, everything else is going to continue to go up at fifteen. But I don't see how that <laughs> argument can can be the argument on why to keep it at seven dollars. Right. Hmm. Thank you, right. Nancy. That, right. No, 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 no. No, you right. should that's never. It. You shouldn't keep people down. I'm just. I, all I'm saying is, my point is, when you raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars, just expect for everything else to go along with no, it. But, I, I but, just don't. I'm just not with this. Like, yeah, give me minimum. Raise my minimum wage. Raise my minimum wage, and not realizing everything else that's gonna come along with it. But you gotta you think because uh, everything ain't going because just just because you think if you raise motherfucking minimum wage to fifteen dollars, you're gonna be able to to buy a house. Nah, not exactly because that the, the prices for houses is gonna go up. Property taxes is gonna go up. Gas is gonna go up. But, but Dale, everything look, is going Dale, check right this. along with it. Dale, check this. Do y'all know how much a yearly salary? I know Low probably already know this off the top of his head. Do you know how much a year seven dollars and twenty five cents is? Oh, it ain't shit. I mean, it's the average like, nigga, average salary tax, is like forty is like forty thousand dollars. No, nigga, after yeah, taxes only like ten like grand. Two. You it's sound like you sound grand. like one of these Republicans. Look, listen, it's no, I'm, I'm not saying that it's okay. I mean, listen, I, I know seven dollars ain't a lot. I listen, mean, I y'all, it's only it's only ten grand net. Okay. Yeah, you're talking like fourteen thousand so dollars a year. You, you mean to tell me if right. you raise it up to fifteen, that means it'll go up to like maybe twenty thousand net. Who on this call can live off a twenty thousand or a ten thousand a year salary, bruh? No money. And you want these same people to give you quality work for seven dollars and twenty five cents. That's an impossible. But that's that, that's my whole thing. I mean, I don't even know how this is a conversation. You know, <laughs> you, you you got a you got a mother, you know, a single mother, two kids, trying to get a one bedroom apartment. Right. Like how? Right. I mean, I, I, how can you even? Say like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pay you uh, ten racks eight, a year. Eight, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a raise, eight dollars an hour. You know, what I mean, yeah. that, that isn't even like. That, that, I mean, what does that sound like? Like seriously, like, it like I mean, what you pay a child? No, I'm a, I'm, I was going to say I wouldn't even pay my son minimum wage. Like that, <laughs> that, that not even sound right. Seven dollars, like, like for sure. My daughter, but, my daughter yeah. got her first job. She made more than more than minimum wage, and she she don't have nothing. 
But just just look at that though. So we're talking about people with families that's that's working with that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, a haircut, the barbershop is thirty dollars. So you mean to tell me I got to work a whole shift just to get my hair cut? Just to get your hair cut, man. Come on, and they man. talk, and, they, make, and, make and, the, and, the, and the reason is like, oh, because mm-hmm. everything else will go up. Come on, man. We talking and, about and my thing is this, and yeah. let's let's be honest here. Fifteen dollars in today, that ain't a lot of money. Exactly. But shit, but shit, that will at least keep me from going from drowning and not knowing how to swim. Now I at least got a, a piece of wood that floated by that I can keep my head above water now. <laughs> I'm not out the water. I'm still Great. wet as fuck. You know what I'm Great saying? Analogy. But Great at least analogy. I can breathe and look around me now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it ain't like you doing a whole bunch of favors, though. You know what I'm saying? So right. let's be real. That $15? No, come easy. on, man. Jeez, I think you still might be drowning your kids, baby. Yeah, I mean, man. Like, I mean, there's no question. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how people are making it with that. $20,000 right. net is $15 an hour. It's $20,000 net after tax. 20 G's, man, that is nothing. That's crazy. That's you can't crazy. buy a house off that shit. You don't qualify for anything. And yeah, I'm about do. to say, and guess yes, what? With that you, money, you qualify, with, you, qualify, you qualify for food stamps because you well, don't need food them. stamps and welfare. Yeah, <laughs> right. You did right. right. <laughs> but two, two other programs, mm. right? That bullshit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And they want you to be flat on your ass to be able to qualify for them things. That's the key. You make even a tad bit of money, you're going to get denied. You know what I'm saying? On all those services. You know, mm-hmm. and I'm talking about whenever I talk about this shit, I'm talking about the responsible people. I don't give a shit about, you know what I'm saying, the chick that got the dope boy boyfriend and she buying a 65 inch in a project. I ain't talking about them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck them. I'm talking about the people that, that are responsible, that just, you know, that's just what the situation that they have, and they need that. Fifteen dollars, well, man, ain't nothing, and they need that money. Well, hold on, fifteen. Hold on, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on. Let me stop you here. It ain't F them. Let me tell you why. Just because they they don't have the knowledge, they just ignorant to you know what I mean how to move because they they've been stuck inside of a generational circle that you know they just don't know what to do. So it really can't be F them. I, I can't, I can't, I can't agree with that. Excellent. I mean, it, excellent it, point, bro. Excellent. I mean, they just, I mean, I, 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 I'm sure we well, all. No, no, no. What, I, what I was saying, Lo, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. I will say F them. I'm talking about those that <laughs> have the means and the ability, but choose not to. It's one thing to have circumstances happen to you, you know, generational lapses, but they still have the want to and the motivation, but just maybe aren't getting that opportunity. I'm I'm talking about those folks. I ain't talking about the ones yeah. that that uh, strive to be on welfare, like that. Man, Feezy, that Feezy, Feezy, I'm sure we all got family who. I mean, that's unfortunately, what they're they don't have no sense. Yeah, but they ain't not even trying. No. I'm talking about them what I, people. What, what I'm saying is, we, we all know somebody who just don't have no sense because they mama had no sense. <laughs> the, the, the mama's mama had no sense. Aunties, I mean, they just they, they just don't. Cycle. And like, I, I, it's, yeah, it's a will, vicious bro. cycle. I mean, you, you say that if, if, if it was that easy, Feezy, uh, a lot of people would be the. No, I didn't say it was right gonna now. be easy. Uh, not, not easy, but but I do see. What I didn't say it was gonna like, be easy. There, there's a there's a population of of individuals that do. I mean, like like you like you said, there's not everybody gonna do use the power for good. It's gonna be when you you know you got good. You're gonna have some people gonna do good with it. Some people gonna use that good to do bad with. It. There's there's folks that are are well off who still was stealing money during this whole pandemic. Who right. still stealing from the system, still trying to get by, still chucking and drive buying Lamborghinis when they knew better. Like I mean, so there's those mm-hmm. individuals That's- out there who are all trying to just get over on the system. And no, I agree with Jay. There's some of these folks, man, fuck them, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You don't, I mean, come on. Like, this is one of those I situations where- I, 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 I ain't mad if I get over the system because they've been getting on, over for us for years, so- I, I already I, heard I, about somebody <laughs> killing one of their they, 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 <laughs> um, relatives over, over a stimulus check. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, that was like a massacre. Right. But the, 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 I guess the whole point, my overall point with this topic, man, was never let 
don't don't settle for what somebody fucking gives you, man. Facts. Know what the fuck your worth is and go after whatever the fuck it is that you worth. That said, transition. I want to go into the next topic. So if we're talking about minimum wage and we ain't relying on the minimum wage, we ain't relying on a system to dictate what the minimum wage is. If I want to go out here and get it on my get it on my own, I want to go out here and get educated. The easy thing is just say, hey, man, go to college, go get you a degree, go get you a degree. The degree is going to going to ensure you that you're going to have some money, that you're going to keep some bread. But I know I know that was really the thing back in our days when we was going to school. But does that hold up in 2021? <laughs> so how does the does, does the do do uh, do do degrees matter? Do college degrees matter in 2021? I want to know if if two, in 2021, if a college degree does it really advance you, or is it a trap? Which I okay. Got. So this 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 is, this is ahead, a man. very very this is a very complex subject, and I and I'll just take it from break it point. down, man. Because I have family members that have went the route of being college educated including myself and I have other family members that have been they just hard workers and they've just made it on their own right they've made their own lane and they're successful um I think with the college educated lane I think it's about how much effort you put into it and 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 actually how you strategize at an early age if you're gonna if you're gonna make the decision as a young freshman in high school, right? For all my freshmen uh, and sophomore young men and young women out there, if you're gonna decide to go to a higher form of education and get you a college degree, right now is the strategy you need to develop right now to know what you're gonna do with that degree. Now, back when we were in school, you know, it was just instilled for us to just get an education. Education to take you go, 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 go to college, go to college, go to college. But the financial literacy part was not really taught to us like that. So back to your point, Dale, on the first part, the trapping happened for some of us, right? We got bogged down with student loans. We didn't understand the fact that when we went to school, we had to pay all this shit back <laughs> tenfold, right? But I'm going to focus on that later. But, but the advice I would have for all the listeners that are trying to direct their kids to a college educated path, right? You want to make sure, and my father told me this before I left the school. If I send your ass to school, I'm not sending you to school just to get a degree. I'm sending you to school to become an adult and learn how to think for your own and learn how to become an adult and stand on your own too. Whatever path you take, rather if you major in basket weaving <laughs> or you, you major in and become a doctor, that's on you. But you have to understand what path you're going to take. And you got to you have to live with that with that choice. Right. I would recommend if you're going to get into that aspect of, of a college degree, major in something that's viable. Right. Major that's something right. that's going to make you some money so you could eventually work for yourself if you choose to or major in something to get your qualifications up so you can work for yourself. Right. You can start your own corporation. Right. You could just have those credentials to, to succeed. And the major thing is to do it as cheap as possible. Absolutely. So scholarships, I mean, I don't know if Pell Grants still exist, <laughs> but if you can get Pell Grants, however you can do it, even if you got to work while you're right. in school. I, the I gotta, object I, is I, to graduate I, with no debt. You got the credentials. And if you want to go to the second level, that's a whole nother conversation. And, so, I, and I, got a piggy, I got a piggyback off that, man, because you, you, you hit it on the nail. It, it's like when we were in school, because we were coming off a generation that we still, there were still a lot of people that may have been the first in their family to even go to college. You yeah. might have had an aunt, you might have had a cousin, you might have even had a parent that would that a lot of people might have it might have been true that we wasn't there yet. That Hold was on, just fees, like just fees, go to school. So hey, I fees, can be like I yeah. fees hold hold tight, bro, because you must be going 
going through a bad area or something, nigga. It sounds like you having a stroke. So just hold that, <laughs> hold, hold that thought, hold that thought for one second. Uh, uh, somebody, I jump in there. Somebody else jump in. Until we come back. Stop having that stroke. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Yeah, man. Get get, get right, man. Real quick. But <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm gonna take a different uh, route on it than than there we go. guys because talk to me. What I feel like is happening is is a lot of a lot of these young kids are actually getting themselves behind the eight ball before before they have to kids that probably don't have to get behind the eight ball you know what i'm saying back in the day you right that was what we were told go to school make a good living for yourself you're going you're going to get a career not a job all of this stuff that they told you find your spouse there y'all all of that green grass stuff but what we already noticed is what the, these this next generation is is seeing the effects of is that a lot of us came out of work, came out of uh, college and couldn't find work, making the money to, to even start paying them loans back. My first, I was in social work. My first job out of high, out of college, I was making $24,000, $25,000 a year. Mm. Like that was my first job, bro. Mm. And everything was like, if you know, if you're not a manager, we can't get, I mean, it was all, you know, you, you had to have a, you had to be a manager to get bigger money, but they wouldn't get you in positions to be all of that. Right. So these right. younger kids, my thought would be, especially since college has become exponentially more expensive, right? Man. You talking $800,000 investment. Ridiculous. So like this idea of you going to school to find yourself, I disagree with that at this point. Unless you know what you want to be, unless you have a desired, you want to be a judge, you want to be an astrophysicist, you want to be a clean energy engineer, you want to be a, a, a doctor, an attorney, go. go to school. You got to go to school. Go. But if you ain't sure what you want to do, then we need to figure this out before we start putting you behind the eight ball. Because yeah. the reality, even for me, Back then, I could have got into social work without getting into college. I would have been further ahead in my career because back then you didn't have to have a college degree. You could have mm. got grandfathered in. I would have still, I, you know what I mean? Like the, those are the things that you that aren't talked about. Like what you got options, right? You have things that you can do. You can get certifications that you can start working earlier. Than the, you know what I'm saying? Like we got to talk to these kids because what these kids are doing is going and majoring in these things that ain't going to make them bread. That's what I was saying. They passionate Facts. about it. And or they 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 finding themselves in school five six years and now you a hundred thousand yep. dollars in debt and you come out of there and you can't find no job five <laughs> five five here, <laughs> Bruh, I think that this yeah. is gotta be a real conversation you have with your kids, yeah. knowing your children, right. knowing their passion, knowing their drive, and trying to leverage what's the most responsible business decision for us to do right now. Yeah, man. Next year, maybe you don't go to school. Uh, maybe you go to community college, or maybe you go get a trade and right. work your way into doing this, make money. You never know what the op there's so many other options out there. Man, you had me with what you said. Yeah, 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 you lost yeah. me when you said uh freshman or sophomore. To me, that's too fucking late. No, you know? high school. I say high school. Oh, okay. I'm thinking you're talking freshman, sophomore. No, high school. I said for all my high schoolers oh, yeah. out there. Okay. Yeah, Nick. Because I'm gonna be honest. I, I went to I went to a college preparatory high school, and those conversations was happening when I was a freshman and sophomore in high school. They like, look, man, in two years you're gonna be taking the ACT. You're gonna be taking the SAT. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Because my pops was like, hey, bro, you ain't gonna be up in this crib. So either you going to the army, <laughs> you gonna get a job. Or yo, you going to school and you going to school for something that's going to make you think and get you some money so you can stand on your own, too. Hey, you know, Lo, yeah. Lo, Lo, before you go in, let me circle back to Fees, man. Fees, talk to me. Um, well, first, can y'all can y'all hear me? You're yeah, good, you're bro. good now. All right. But no, just was saying, you know, I, I think there just needs to be there wasn't any strategy and any follow through with when in, our, in my generation. I don't think as much, you know, we, we pushed, we, we were pushed to go to school and then you got this degree and then cats was getting out of school. Like, okay, now what, you know what I'm saying? I got this degree. All right. I'm, I'm going to go get this job. But like, like you kind of touched on it. Somebody touched on it where it's like, Oh, well, no, we're not, we're not hiring. You don't have no experience. Okay. 
well, I want to get the experience. Oh, well, you ain't really had a job yet, so we're going to push you off to the side. Right. So then what happened is a lot of people went somewhere where they could get a job totally opposite of maybe what their degree was in. They started making their way. Life happened. They met that beautiful lady or they met that young guy. They had kids. Next thing you know, they had been in life at a job. They got a degree that's just sitting on the back in the, in the garage. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so you you have to have strategy. And like you said, Naz, you know, if you you got to know your kid and if they not ready and have that grand plan, don't do it. Don't right. do it. You right. know what I'm saying? Go get a job. Wait. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Or shout out to, to Wilberforce and shout out to all them electives. But if you don't need that elective, you don't need it. So a, 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 a two year degree, an associate's degree that'll get you right to it. You know what I'm saying? Get you right to the job that they're hiring for. That might be the best route for you. Right. Plus, we have now gotten into a time where so many people have degrees. So we were at a cool. point where nobody had a degree, but people had experience. So it was it looked good for that company to get people with degrees. Well, now it's the opposite. Now I got all these degrees. But nobody has no work experience. So oh. I'm going to shove all the people with degrees to the side because Joe over here, he's been working for 20 years. I ain't got to pay the training. I ain't got to pay nobody. He can come and hit the ground running right away. So I'm going to spend less money because because Frank and Sally over here, they got this degree, but I got to train them. So now they got to be in this six month training program. They not making me no money because I got to train them. So that's the spot that we in. So all that to say, you, I have, I have a child that's going to be is in her, is in that. We having those conversations now. She want, you know, she has a plan, you know, and we're going to try to execute that plan and, and move forward. Because if not, hey, you might just need to go get a job. And, and just make and try to make it happen that way until you do figure it out. You can always go to school. You can always go to school. Mm -hmm. But like you said, Nas, it's it's too much money now. It's too much money to be playing around with. And now you you don't have a job in your field and you owe a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Because six months after you walk across that stage, they're gonna be knocking at your door. Like, where's my money? And now you stuck. Now you grind and now you got to get a job to pay that, to, to pay that loan back. You know what I mean? And you're not getting no opportunities. Not so like me, you got to have a strategy and follow through. Low, low, come talk on, to low. me. Man. Come on, come on, low. Cause I'm going uh, to double back. Hire low. people. You, you got, come uh, on. Man. Well, first off, I mean, um, I think college is, a, is, is necessary. Uh, we wouldn't be on this PCP wave if it wasn't for, you know, uh, my five years at Wilberforce University. So, uh, it, it, them degrees are more than just for your job. You know, you you going to college to build experiences and uh, networking with people. We have people all across the country who we in contact with that we necessarily wouldn't have that. So, I mean. You, you can't, I can't put a dollar amount on the connection I have with people who I'm to school with. I mean, I, cause I really think it's priceless. So I think that from a relationship standpoint, that, that has to be discussed too. I mean, uh, sending your kids to school just to, I think, uh, what do you said, to define yourself and like just, just to be a man, you know, um, and live your life. So that that is huge when we talk about college, in my eyes. Um, next, I mean, yeah, um, degrees, you, obviously you, you gotta have a plan. I mean, I, I hope everyone, you know, man, sit down with, with, uh, their 19, 16, 17 year old child, but come on, let's, 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 let's not BS this. You're still talking about a 16, 17, 19 year old child. Your, your hormones still born. You're going to change your, your mind on what you want to do three or four times. Just because just because you say you, you want to go to be an astronaut, you know, when you're 19, when you're 21, you, you, you might want to do something totally different. <laughs> so, I mean, it like, it, okay, how many right. conversations you could have, risk the plan. I mean, you got to go out and find yourself and really see what you're good at. Because you might not be good at being an astronaut, but you can be a hell of a teacher or a motivator or something like that. So, I mean, it, it, you should absolutely have a plan, but 
I think college is necessary. I'm always going to be an advocate for higher education and learning. Um, that's just that, that's just me because I, I think that uh, school is more than uh, just a, getting a degree. I think really the social, the networking. And mm. Did we lose him? Oh, somebody uh, suffered another stroke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he man right. down, man, man down. <laughs> Unmute, Lo. Man um, down. It's a lot of just, no, but no. Just, it's just, a lot just, of paralysis just learning, happening today. Yeah, just learning about yourself. Uh, I think that that, that comes to be priceless, man. Uh, so I, I will always be an advocate uh, of going to school. I mean, you know, hopefully you can be smart enough to get a scholarship. But you know that that money uh, that I got tied up in with Wilberforce. I mean, it, it was money well spent, and I have no issues uh, with that. So I mean, I'm I'm all for. Go to school, find yourself, and uh, be all you can be. Man, so, let me let me so, say so, this. Oh, go go ahead, Dale. Let let me say this. Um, I think I, mm, I mean, I, I I agree with with some of what what all of y'all are saying. Uh, but for the most part, you know, like when I was going to school, uh, I had no guidance whatsoever. I, you know, nobody could tell me what was the right major, what a career was. All I had to look up to was my parents that was working in the steel mill and all them off the all, oh all they was doing, they was just working for <laughs> their next paycheck and worried about getting the double and, and overtime and yep. holidays and, and double plus <laughs> right. all that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that said, you know, it was just like, man, all I, my parents said, all I know is you ain't working in the steel mill. That's it. And IE, go to college, figure it out. Um, and I don't think that that works in 2021. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Especially with uh, the, the, the level of competition that's out here now and the resources right. that are right. available. I can speak. I can't speak on everybody's industry, but I can speak for mine. Who who somebody who who. Uh, study tech who who works in tech um bro like all unless unless you come from the princetons and harvards of the world man look if you come with uh if if you come to that motherfucker job and you got some experience and you can show like yo i can program this i can code that i can talk this language that language this that and the third man you don't even need a degree I know some dude. I know some motherfuckers who ain't got a a, a bachelor's, uh, and you put them up against motherfuckers that got bachelor's and masters, and they'll wash their ass in for in terms of tech. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's yeah, exactly. Oh god! Uh -oh. oh god! Another stroke. I was oh, talking shit. about <laughs> with the experience. Ex yeah, bro. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. We're gonna come back to you. We're gonna we're gonna come back to you, dog. You in another rough spot. Cause you you stuttering bad. It's gotta, golden, man. Max Hedrick. You, yeah, you, you, you yeah, that that experience. I think you said the experience, but it is that that experience is golden. And and you know, and, and I'm saying that my point is, is that like for real, a degree in my field don't hold that much weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like me. Like, I, I laugh and joke like, you know, with me and all them like these motherfuckers got all these different degrees. I got one. I got one degree and I have no interest in getting another one because in my field, I don't need a, I, I don't I don't need a master's degree or anything. You know what I'm saying? A, a certification. If I go get a. Uh, uh, AWS certified or or uh, Microsoft 365 certified and I got some experience with that shit. Oh man, I get paid. I, I get paid, paid and hired before these persons who who have a master's degree. So uh, all in all, um, I mean, I, I I don't think that that same mentality has to be applied today that was used back in the day because you got so many different options, man. Like 
Go to that community college. That community college is, is cheaper. Man, go get you certified. Go get go go get a trade. Go be specialized in a in a trade or some shit. And you can eat, you know what I'm saying, without all of the debt. You yeah, know or saying? even even if you think you're interested in something, go go get a certification in it first. Simple. A, a three-week course, four-week course that might cost you two thousand dollars instead of a hundred thousand dollars. Because a couple hundred dollars, you go get some of these tutorials and shit off youtube and you be like, that's what i mean and the other so part of this is man a lot of these kids expect now granted we couldn't have foreseen or foreshadowed the pandemic stuff happening but man now that this has even happened like these kids imagine the kids from last year and this year who are graduating from college yeah. where there is not a job in sight for you oh man like where are you gonna find work everybody been out of work for the last year Man. And those who have who who can hold on to their jobs is holding on to them. You know what I'm saying? Because of the uncertainty of everything. Most of these kids are graduating from college and they moving back in with their parents. Facts. Because there's just nothing else for them to do. So now you got this incredible amount of debt. You don't have no real, you got jobs lined up. You ain't got no profession lined up. You still working? What? I mean, I, I man, I, I got a relative that was working at doing substitute teaching, doing whatever they could find just to just to get, you know, make ends meet after graduating with a degree. But at the same time, uh, let's be honest. I mean, if you want to be a doctor, you got to go to college. If you want to be a lawyer, that. you oh, yeah. got to go to college. I said I that, mean, though. It's, it, it, it's just certain spaces. I mean, a tech, gotcha, obviously, gotcha. With, 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 with the apps and everything they got going now, technically, that's just that's just something different. I mean, like, but everything else, man, I mean, if you want to be a judge, you got to go to college. Absolutely. I mean, but, 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 I mean, but you got to know that you want that to be your, your path. You can't right. just be. What, what, what I'm saying, man, is, I mean, I get that, but when you were an 18, 19-year-old kid, man, like, come on, like, what, listen, listen, tell me. What 18, 19 year old kid set out on this path and he 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 finished it the same way he set out to it once no, he stepped I agree with that. Low, I'm gonna be honest with you. No, 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 no. Low, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like the these these uh immigrants that, that come over here to Man, no, 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 listen, no, this, these different. are just facts though. These are just facts. Hit me out. They come mm -hmm. over here to the states, they kids. They they be telling their kids from the jump. You're gonna be a doctor. And you gon you gon you we about to we about to put this money in you from from you the point that you a little kid, a little boy, you know what you gonna do. And they 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 trailblaze for all them kids. tiger moms, all them tiger moms, man, you gonna be I a dentist, saying. you gonna be a judge. You're right. Yes. But, but you, a, you, you said it immigrants. I mean, uh, unfortunately, that's just an example. I mean, I mean, I mean know, no, but you're right though. But 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 no no no. I'm saying you're right though. But obviously, you know their lifestyle was. Totally I shouldn't have said immigrants. I should have said foreigners. My bad. I'm drinking. Damn. That's the same. I mean, what's the? Uh, we we get what you were saying. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 you were saying. Yeah, that, back. That's, that, hey, that's, that's inclusive. That's inclusive. You good? Okay. I was just making yeah. sure, man. You never know. Yeah. Uh, but I do have to throw this in there. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. I do have to say this. A lot of those foreigners. They come over here and they don't got to pay for school. They get tax breaks for going to school. They get all this different stuff. So that's that pressure to too. that pressure to fail isn't there because if you if you fail, you ain't spend no money. Right. Yeah, that's but 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 there but there the the, the they have point a pride though, level is that though. there is a there is a specific plan in place. You're not going right. to figure find yourself. You're that's going that's to a become motherfucking that's something. a motherfucking chess move, man. Yeah, that's you're going to be a doctor. These these in, the Indians, they send their children over here to be doctors, to be judges, attorneys, astrophysicists. You're not coming over here to be no uh, no nurse. You're not coming over here to be no whatever it is. You're not you're not being no you're not just majoring in, t in communications. Those most of those kids are coming to major in something specific because they know one the the reality of one how much it, it costs two this is an opportunity for you so all I'm saying is I agree Lo that that like my experience at college built me as a person more than anything else 
Right. And, and most people, des- most young people deserve that opportunity. My only issue is because of how expensive college has become. Is it more of a business decision to have your conversation with your child and say, wait a minute, we're not going to spend eighty to ninety thousand dollars on you right now because it don't look like you really know exactly what direction you want to go. Let's take yeah. this next year. You can go get certified in this. Take a couple classes, see if you like it. If so, dive in. A lot of these, a lot of other people, especially wealthy people, most of them kids don't go straight to college after they graduate high school. They take some sh- kind of year to- What's that shit off? What's that year off that they take? Uh, sabbatical, 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 whatever they call it. They, they travel here. Go, go backpacking, backpacking through Backpacking, oh, figuring shit, your oh, life man. out here or whatever. But, we don't so have look. that option a lot of times in, 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 in some families. You know? <laughs> No, nah, we we ain't got that option. Oh, look. Sometimes <laughs> you can't you can't take no year to figure it out it, when your when the bill is a hundred thousand. So you got to get a, at it. What you so, trying to do? What you like? What you love? Right. right? You don't know. All right. How about this? This next year, you are gonna take a barbershop class and you are gonna take that whatever class you like. And then in the meantime, you are gonna get a skill that you can learn to make some bread, and you are gonna be able to figure out if you like X, Y, and Z or not. Now let me let me let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Uh, and I hated that Gino ain't here, but um, for the audience that don't know, uh, three of the brothers are part of this cast. Their wives are doctors. So is that like what the expectation is for y'all's kids? Like, do y'all want them to, you know, have that level of profession? I want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a judge. Is, is that is those is is that what the expectations are in y'all's households? I'm I'm instilling in mine from the door that you can be whatever you want, but but there is an expectation of yes, professionalism. There has to be. I don't, I don't like, you know, my son, that level boy, though, that level. Cause I mean, I'm a professional, but I'm not, I'm, I'm no doctor. My son thinks he wants to be an engineer. Okay. Absolutely. My other son is very creative. He thinks he might want to write and do other, I, I'm okay with all of that, okay. but I just, but you know, we going to try to guide you into the things that we think you like find out hopefully before you get out of high school, what you good at. And then we are gonna make some business decisions because this is what this is. This is financial business because in any other part of life, wouldn't you sit down and have to have that discussion if they was gonna buy a car or buy a house right. and the house cost a right. hundred thousand dollars or the car costs $20,000. Wouldn't you sit down and be like, hey man, do you really need the airbag to be in the back? You ain't got no kids. Do you really need, you know what I'm saying? You gonna talk yeah, to them and I try mean, to you, figure you, out the you, best for them. I think you gotta have real conversations mm-hmm. like, you know, hey, this is, college costs money. You are going, unless you get a full ride, you're going to have to pay this money back. So if you don't execute the plan that you that we talk about, you're going to be on the hook for this. You know, there are people, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to give myself as an example. I'm not, I'm not working in my field that I went to school in, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people like that. You know, I, my shit, my manager at my job now, she got a freaking photography degree. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, what photography? So, you know, you, 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 you gotta, you gotta have that plan and, and let them know, like, there are other things out there just because you have a degree is not going to net you a $150,000 job. When you get out, there has to be work that is put in place to go with that degree. You unless need to have those fellowships or, those, or unless or you're going to be a doctor, right? Something like that. Yeah, you got it. You know, invest in yourself. You know, there's grants, there's scholarships, there's fellowships, there's internships that you need co-ops that you're going to need to do to put you in position to help you get that job that you want. Don't think that just because you've got a degree that you're going to go to a uh, freaking uh, some big top notch Fortune 500 company and they're going to bring you in making six figures. Some might. Most yeah. don't. Most don't. Most are going to put you down in that mail room and you're going to be a mail clerk. Some of these kids will get frustrated like, oh, I don't want to do that. Da, 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 da. Well, that, that's that's what it is. It may happen like that for you. And you need to lay it out to your kids like that. But I, like Lo said, 
I believe me, I do not regret my college degree. You know, I kind of regret maybe how I went about it. You know what I'm saying? But college is wonderful and it does teach you other things. It teaches you about life. It teaches you about, you know, you know, how to how to how to get a crib, how to get a car, how to do a bank account the, pro the proper way and just being in life and in society and how to survive. It does give you that relationships, working with other people that you're not used to being around, you know. So college has a lot of other other um, other aspects of it that you can benefit from. But again, you got to have the conversation with your kids and don't hold back with them and tell them. And honestly, be honest with your kids like, man. Like Nas said, like, bruh, I don't know. And I mean, your kids might be different. You my might kids, have one my kid kids, that's on it. My kids one got kid, you might be like, man, I don't know about him. My my kids got college college scholarships set up, right? So right. where where by the time they go to college, they should be able to go to college for free or 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 at least right. be okay, right? Wait, they got college scholarship or they got I mean, well, college funds, hey. college funds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. College okay. funds. I'm sorry, yeah. college funds. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh, so no, that's the that's the tequila. That my bad. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, um, whoa. You ain't the only one over here. Fucking <laughs> right. But 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 the but my wife and I have already had the conversation that we we have to reevaluate at the time to make sure that we're making a sound investment because that's what this is. This is an investment, yeah. right? And why would I just throw away seventy, eighty thousand dollars? Why would I just just because you? Go to school, even though I know you might be not really focused on this right now. So, for, so when once the time comes, hopefully they will have a grasp of something they want to do. If they don't, then that conversation, that hard conversation, has to come into play. What are we going to do? Because as a parent, I, I mean, I need to be. See, maybe I need to move you into starting your own business right now instead of going to college, taking this money as an investment. And and putting it into and investing in you instead of investing in, in inside you know into an institution that's gonna take your bread and then maybe you are gonna get a job after or maybe you not so I think that's I think each parent has to make that determination on their own I've had friends that's like man you crazy your kids going to school my kids going to school. and I'm like listen I understand what you're saying and I want my children to be able to go to school because I want my child to be a judge. Who doesn't want their kid to succeed? I mean, yeah, you want them to be right. Everybody wants their kid to be good. But at these rates, and by the time my kids go to school at a nine and a seven-year-old, yeah. we talking $150,000 oh, yeah. schools. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You got to think smarter than that, especially if you don't want to put your kids behind the eight boy. Hey, Dale. Let, me, cir let me circle back. Let I, I need to circle back uh, to Lo to uh, answer the, the, the question that I raised for the... Uh, Families that have doctors uh, in there. Lo, I know no pressure on you, nigga. I know you're not a doctor, but uh, for <laughs> oh, your, he plays for one your... on Thursday, though. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, yeah, but right. uh, but nah, no, but, I mean, but seriously, uh, is that what what's the ahead. what's the expectation for y'all's kids? Um, you know, with with your wife uh, being a doctor. Yeah, um, we don't get big in the titles. I mean, that, that really. Bless it means nothing. I mean, I, it, it, I mean, it means some obviously, but uh, titles we don't get hung up on titles. Uh, so uh, as long as I mean, we're gonna do everything we can to put our child's best foot forward. So I mean, we will have enough cushion so they can do really whatever they want to be in, in a reasonable sense. Uh, as long as it it has a success at the end of the day, um, you know, just. Yeah, I mean, raising two black boys, you just want to grow up and don't be in jail. I mean, let's just let's cut the crap. That's just what it is. Uh, and don't uh, die by violence. So, I mean, it, it's it's more of just, uh, you know, steer them in the right way, uh, whatever profession uh, they, they, they want to be. But obviously, we do call our son M.D., uh, for a reason. So if he wants to be a doctor, that'd be hard. You know what I mean? Hey, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, man, we'll get caught up in titles. Uh, but I uh, definitely just want them to be uh, successful. I mean, at, at the end of the day, that's all it's about. So let let, let me put a bow on this, man. Um, you know, um, uh, the 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 overall point was is uh, 
you know, basically is it is a modern day degree. Is is it is it is it as valuable as it was back in the day? Um, I personally think it doesn't depending on what you want to do. So if you want to be a doctor or lawyer or something, then yeah, you got to go to school. Otherwise, nah, not, not even. But at the same time, you struggle with that whole social component because the social experience that I had in college, uh, man, world renowned. I don't think I could have got it anywhere else. I mean, shit, I owe Fact. my whole, my, I owe my whole family to, to Wilberforce, man. My wife is there. My children came from there. So, you know, that, you know, you know, that's just going to be something that, that's hard to, to, to juggle. However, so let, me, let me ask before, but, but right that, before you finish Dale, this, you, this up, oh. uh, Dale, let me ask this quick question. Go for it. If, if you, if you could get, if you could have gotten a hundred thousand dollars instead of education, instead of your four year degree, if you could have got a, whatever your degree, cash. Cash money. If you could have got that bread instead of your four year degree, what would you have chosen? I, I would have. I, I need. I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty. But I mean, of course, at, at eighteen years old, you gave me a hundred thousand dollars. I would have took it, but I wouldn't have known what the fuck to do with it. But you know, now when I look back on it, like, nah, my my uh my college experience, man, can't put a price tag on it. Giselle and Jaya and Jania, they all so come. that's priceless. So yeah, I, I can't. But at the same time. It's college is not going to be just the automatic priority. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the way that I have uh, our kids uh, college funds set up, you know, they don't have to use it for college. They could use it for right. something else. Right. You know what I right. mean? So, right. Right. You know, that conversation is it's going to I'm taking on the, me the, the, the mentality that the foreigners take on. Like I'm drilling and instilling in my kids early as fuck. Like what? This is what's going on. This is what it's like, and I'm gonna know at a certain time. I'm gonna know. Like, nah, you ain't going to school. You know what I'm saying? So that I, I'm not waiting uh, to a certain point to you know let them go to school and figure go to school and figuring out that's that that that's that that costs too much. So no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a recipe for disaster. That costs well, too much, man. Costs too much. Well, I'll say I'll say this, Dale, because I mean I wanted to just add some points to that. I'll go for it, bro. I forgot my, um, I forgot to circle back to you. Go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool. It's my okay. um my my college experience was unique because I actually hated my major, but it actually worked out for me. It was probably the best decision I ever did. Because when I got my degree, you know, I felt like how you felt when I first graduated. I was like, I got this fucking accounting degree, but I don't want to be a CPA. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm not taking another exam to, to solidify a four year discipline. That to me don't make no fucking sense. I'm not going to be no bookkeeper. So I'm like, fuck it. I need to find another lane. So, you know, I'm one of those unique college graduates that I've, I've ventured around. I dabbled in certain industries. And when I was able to find the actual lane, like I, I talked about before, when you find your lane, um, actually you can build upon whatever degree that you that you get. Um, I was able to build upon mine with a combination of certifications and a master's degree, uh, which you know a portion of my master's degree was paid for by my job. So for those who are out there that don't that do want to pursue a secondary degree, get somebody else to pay for that shit. If you want right. to get Certification, get somebody to pay for that shit because I didn't pay for my certification. Right. So that shit tacked on an extra amount of money on my salary or my profession or my trade, if you want to call it, of what I do now. Um, d does my college degrees, plural, benefit me? Fuck yeah, in the industry I'm in. But would that be suitable for everybody? No, because you got to pick your own lane and you got to maneuver within your career the way you want to maneuver it. If you don't want a fucking career like we talked about earlier, work for yourself. Find a lane, save your money, get you look, generate some wealth in a way that you don't have to go through everything that we talked about on this this actual topic. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you you make your you make your profession and you make your 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 trade or your degree or your certification work for you. Can't go and get a certification. Uh -oh. Expect that oh, no. is going to pay for everything. <laughs> Everybody, come on, man, with these strokes, man. Uh, my, 
Oh, no, yeah. real quick. Oh, my, like, my real quick, Dale. Out. I know you about to. I know you about to transition, but yeah, real we need quick, to have some fun, to... man. Come on, we about to turn this shit up. Yeah, I'm. I'm done. I'm done. Just want to shout. Just say this to the young people, and me and kind of touched on it. Those that you need to be specific. So yeah, you come with communications. Okay, well, what do you want to do? You come with y'all want to be a business major. Okay, what do you want to do with that? Like specifically, like don't just rest on that, young people. Know specifically what you want to do and start working in those fields even before you graduate. You know what I'm saying? When you're in your summertime, work in those fields. Go get a job. At that time, you can work in the mail room. You know what I mean? You get an experience. You get knowledge of that of that industry from the inside, and that way you can make a better decision. But, yeah, I'm ready to kick it too. My bad. I just had to say that. Man, All right, go ahead, transition, listen, man. Since everybody had I'm just a gonna, stroke. I'm gonna say this, man. Button this up, um, man. Look, uh, I want my girls to be doctors. So I'm um, uh, uh, Imani, uh, uh, Kendall, uh, Brian. Man, y'all need some. Y'all need some interns to come and work for y'all for free. I'm, sh- I'm shipping them right down. Hey, man, you know ain't nothing wrong with that, brother. Keep y'all boys away from my girls, though. But they, 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 they coming down there. <laughs> They working for uh, for free. <laughs> hey. um, but yeah. All right. So, all right, man. Let's do let's do, let's do some uh. Let, let's do. They some. are hodges. So I'm gonna say. Nah, hey. hell no, nah, nigga. <laughs> Shit. Fuck that. <laughs> let's go. To, let's get to it, man. Um, low stupid. Let's talk about a quick stack up. Couple couple stack ups, man. I want to know. Would you rather be broke? Doing what you love, or be rich doing what you hate. Mm. Let's start with. Well, that's easy. Fees go. <laughs> uh, go to me last, Dale. Go to me last. All right, all right, all right. Mean go. I've actually been in both. I actually been in both both situations. You ain't you rich? Okay. All nah, right. I mean, no, no, he listen. said I I ain't know. <laughs> rich, I'm saying. rich, rich to me, rich to me ain't 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 monetary like that though. But what I'm saying is I've been in situations of what you just described. I've hated some jobs and I got paid uh, some fantastic money. But oh I've loved ready, some jobs. Ready. Look, I've loved some jobs and yeah, of course I'm fees, you know fees mute, mute your phone, fees. You know what I'm saying? I look. I, I look, I love some jobs and then get no motherfucking bread. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with the hate <laughs> paycheck because I'm older. So I'm gonna go with the hate paycheck option. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm this, a, this was too easy. What's the yeah. question? Was this? Yeah, I mean, like, and let, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I gotta go with the bread. I mean, it's tough though because. I, I've been in the same position and when I was, you know, being in social work, I decided like after one point that I was going to try like corporate America. So I was like, man, I'm tired of ma- not making the money. I'm tired of not doing this, even though I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I was good at it. I just, I felt like I needed, I wanted to make money. I wanted to make do what my friends was doing. That was engineers and everybody else buying these cars and all this stuff. I wanted to know what that felt like. So I started doing, you know, a little corporate America, corporate America job. And, um, and like, you know, a year into it, my boss even pulled me into the office one day. It was like, bro, like I, you are really nice guy, but you do, you are not a salesman. Like, this is not, this is not for you, bro. Like you, he was like, I know that whatever else you do, it was doing before you good at that. But this, you just not, this is not your temperament. This is not who you are. And so, like, I just don't know if I would be able to survive in a job that I wasn't good at like that. You know what I'm saying? But I was making a lot of bread. So, yeah. So, which one? I'm taking, um, I'm taking the, the, the happiness job, man. I'm taking wow. the happiness job. Yeah, Mr. Vibrations. That's Vibrations. <laughs> Low, go ahead, man. I can answer that. Yeah, how, 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 how many kids I got? Right, hey, if, <laughs> ask him is he at home right now? In, in hey, ask him, is, ask him is he at home right now? <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't even sound right. Hey, Listen. but hey, but but yeah. wait, 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 I'm wait. It right now, how low. about that? <laughs> hey, low, call, hey, wait, low. To, yeah. to call you out a little bit though. On the text, not too long ago, you said, yeah. "I'm sick of this life." Oh yeah. I don't He's know sick. how much longer I can do it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Listen, and Naz, I just said I'm living it right now. But listen, we ain't got no worries. So, <laughs> I'm a, and and oh, me listen, and Low had a listen, hey, I don't me, know if I, I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, me, me and Low had a conversation. I don't, I, like, like, <laughs> Low, Low told me something that, that, that just made it all go away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like listen, I I, I don't know. Listen, I, I wake up, you know what I mean? I wanna smack myself every morning, but <laughs> then, hey, like, we ain't got no worries. So right. I mean, hey, and, listen, yeah. hey, so actually, we, we, hey, actually, hey, look, I'm, I'm about to pull a Deion Sanders. I'm about, I'm about to backpedal my way up out of my answer. I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going with the brand to you. You right? Hey, Let's quit. Fees, go, man. Mm -hmm. Real, real quick. Which, which one you got, Fees? Cause I got, I got, I got like, I got like three more stack ups. We are gonna go to. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, I, I need you to. I was, I was getting Jasmine in the car, so Are I didn't you even good? get a question, bro. I said, would you rather be broke doing what you love or rich doing what you hate? Oh, rich doing what I hate <laughs> all day. Yes, sir. Thank yeah, you. my bad. Oh, that, I'm, I'm canceling no question, my vibrations. Man. I don't want no vibrations on this. No one. vibrations. No, I'm going with the money. No, man. You're right. I, I'm, I, want, I, I want the money. I was money. I so, was okay. I, I want the money. If I'm slinging shit at the bottom <laughs> of a basement <laughs> and you paying me $500,000 a year, <laughs> hey, I guess I'm sling. Call me Mister Shitty, because that's shit. that's gonna be my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be shitty. I'm gonna be shitty as hell. I'm gonna be shitty as hell. No, I got some. I got, I, got, I got some SUV I got some, on the beach. I got some. I got some. I got some stiff ones for you. Pause. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this ain't really a. This is uh. You know, this ain't really a challenging one. This is just more out of curiosity. Hold on, you gotta answer it first, Dale. Oh no, I mean, no, I'm nigga, I'm like you. I mean, you know I got kids, going. so you I'm know he going for the break. Right. I'm, I'm ain't taking, no I'm either. taking the L. I put it like this: I'm taking the L now, <laughs> so that they can love what they do down the line. There you go. Like there you go. All right. So, um, Facts. let me phrase this question. Let me set this question up the right way. Um, I think growing up. All of us, you know, we all of us had goals. Um, I don't know about all y'all, but I know me, I wanted to hit a million, right? Like that's that's the goal. And now that I've grown and now that I understand money, and now I know what's going on, how money works, and all of that, is a million enough? Like if you if you hit if you hit a if you hit a million, is a million is a million enough? Enough I, for what? Is a million enough? Like enough, you know, like, enough for what? Oh, so so the stack up is a yes or no? Is a million enough? Enough no. for what? No, 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 no. I'm telling you, no, no. Hell no, it's not enough. Because after you hit that million, you are. But, 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 but that's these two, these two easy, dude. But these, but the, so okay. What's so a so, million? I know, but but the, but hold the on, crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, 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 let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. So you do realize, I mean, people go off of net worth, right? Right. So your, your net worth is all your assets, all your property. I know. All your, you know, jewelry, all this stuff. So we say a million. Listen, but I ain't even know, talking to net man. worth though. I'm not even talking to net worth. I'm. I just. I even think a million cash ain't enough. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, we 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 got net worth. You know what I mean? You can be easily a multi-millionaire. Yeah. We talk about network. Yeah. So a liquid, uh, a million dollars, absolutely not. You no, can't quit not. your job of a million dollars. Hey, <laughs> listen. Hey, listen. So so we, when we sat down with our financial advisor years ago, he asked us, what, what, how, what dollar amount would it take once you retire for you to be comfortable for the rest of your life? And then he talked to us about what we had as far as our mortgages and that, 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 and kids and blah, blah, blah. I went through all of that. And the number was well. Slight flex. That nigga said mortgages. <laughs> <laughs> Plural. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He was, he was, he was asked, whatever your assets are, put all of that together. 
and then and then tell me what it would cost for you to live every day without having to go to work. Yeah. And what year would you want to like? At what year would you want to retire? Yeah. And so like when you start talking those numbers, I was like, damn, it would take that much money. Yeah. Like, it would take. Damn. And that's five, and that's million dollars to like be able to retire. Like, are you and that's, and no, that's no. my and that's my point. My my point, you you know, because I I have an underlying point with everything that I'm talking about on here. My underlying point here is that we have come. Look how far we fucking come. Like the a million was the pinnacle, and it's been the pinnacle in the back of my mind forever. And so now, when now that I know something, and I'm doing a little something. It's just like. Damn, dog, a million ain't enough. Like, Ima imagine what the seven dollar twenty five cent people think. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Facts. But, <clears throat> talking but, about what a million I, was back a, then and what it is now. What seven twenty five in and what seven twenty five? But I'm gonna share with y'all. I'm gonna share with the people what I heard Mark Cuban said. Man, he said that a million dollars ain't shit, but you got to respect the grind that it took for you to get to that million dollars. Oh like, yeah, ever and, and 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 really, Dale, let's let's be. Let's be like a little bit transparent with this. Like a, a million dollars if you if you live in a life probably outside your means. But if you kind of was able to scale down your life, you would probably be all right with a million dollars. If you, I mean, the granted, you ain't got a gang of kids and all of that stuff. And but I mean, like we we in America, everything is overblown. We are. You know, when you watch these international travel shows and all that, you go anywhere overseas, the oven is this big, the the, the refrigerator yeah. is this big. We the only country that everything got to be looking like a hum Humvee, uh, you know what I'm saying? You living on, oh, no, you we, living no, on, we, we supersize everything, baby. Everything Man, is you living on, you living on a small farm with a two bedroom and a bathroom, million dollars, man. You straight. You might be good. You own right, your me, man. You, you, you can go into the market every day and go to the little farmer's market and get your fruits and vegetables and, and cook your shit up. You might be Gucci for the rest of your life. All right, man. Come on, let's 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 move on. Let's get some. We about to get spicy. We about to get motherfucking oh, spicy. Oh, oh lord, Jay, Jay man, you might want to uh, mute mute your phone, man, or, or tell uh, Jasmine <laughs> to put some headphones on or something. Jasmine got to put on some headphones. Let's get spicy. Man. She damn right, man. So let's say man. let's say everybody's we talking about vacations, right? This motherfucker's opening up. Everybody booking flights. Oh. Let's say. Let's say you on a, you you on a vacation, just you. I'm setting the mood right, baby. You on a vacation, you hit the waters and everything that is 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 uh in the ocean and all the shit is roaring. You know what I'm saying? You and your lady, your lady looking good. She smelling good. She oiled up. She been drinking, baby. Let's go to the bar. Let's go have some more drinks. You're at the bar, having some more drinks. You're having a good time. Another couple right next to you. They living it up too. You know what I'm saying? You start, you buying shots, they buying shots, y'all all split. At the end of the at the end of the night, when everybody getting ready to go home, a couple pull you to the side and he's saying, uh, he asking you for asking you to uh asking you to swing the two of y'all with him, his wife and their wife. Are you do you res are you respectfully or disrespectfully <laughs> accepting or declining or di or accepting <laughs> whatever is it going to be respectful is it going to be respectful or disrespectful <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, it ain't going to be disrespectful yeah, and i'm going to tell you let me, let me tell you why let me let me tell you at least why i would take take that as being disrespectful cuz i'm protective of mine Right. So I'm thinking that's what I'm saying. Like we having a good time, we laughing, we drinking. I'm thinking you genuinely just trying to kick it when really you sizing mine up. You know what I'm saying? Well, <clears throat> and, no, and this is the man that's it, making nah, the nah, making you, the proposition. You Hey, listen, you just talked about the vibes. Now you want to bring the vibes in and then and then try to back up off the vibes. You set the tone, it's vibes popping. Everybody drinking, everybody I don't kicking. give a shit. And, vibe and, or no vibe. Hold on, man. And you went you on an island. Like, you know what I'm saying? This ain't like you in your hometown. You in another place, another area. You mm -hmm. they, you know what I mean? You might that person might be thinking, like, damn, you know, they cool. Maybe they want to kick it with us. So I can see how somebody might be open to asking to do something like that on a vacation 
as opposed oh, to being bro. at a bar okay, at like okay, vi- okay, vibrations. So I'm just saying, as opposed to being at like <laughs> if you up at a, at Chick Fil A and somebody <clears throat> trying to get on, that's something different than you being on an island and somebody like, hey, y'all want to come kick it with us? So you I mean, giving them a pass? You giving them a pass? I'm giving the them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not pissed. I'm just like, nah, we cool. We cool. Good luck. <laughs> I ain't pissed though. All right, Ming, what's up? Um. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I don't know, man, because my mood is, look, for those who don't know, man, I'm a fucking Gemini, man. I will switch on your ass in the fuck. <laughs> so if we got the vibrations Heart going beat. and I'm, I'm, I'm kicking it and we like, yeah, you say some crazy shit, it's going to go from, yeah, it's a, yeah. fuck you just say that? <laughs> so I don't know, man. Because that, because all of that was nah, fake to bro. me. Cause yeah. all it was just like all of the energy and all that shit was fake, man. Yeah, so that's whole, why I would be pissed off. My whole vibration gonna change. My vibration mm. gonna turn into earthquake. Right, <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. There's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be some furniture moving. Like, hey, hey, so wait a minute, wait, wait. So is the issue is the issue more that the guy is involved? Cause what if it's just a female? What if a female approaches you? The guy, the guy approaches. The guy approaches you and no, no. But I'm saying, like, is it is the issue for y'all that there's a guy involved? Like, I'm asking if oh, the was, guy's approaching me. I have a fucking problem. Me. So I'm asking 1,000%. you. Let me let me let me. If the if the if it's just a female, and she's by herself, and she approaches y'all with that same with that same energy, is your is your response different? No, I mean my response won't be different. Are you but still my, pissed? No, my my energy would be different because I'd be like, I'd be like, sweetheart, you a little drunk. <laughs> Maybe you want to go back, you know, back up where you going. Yeah. Maybe you making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Energy gonna be way different. But if it's a dude, oh no, nah. <clears throat> my energy is completely different. Like, well, it's, come disrespect- on, bro. it's disrespectful for me. Cause that let me know, nigga. You've been looking at my wife the whole night. You've been looking. But at he me offering me. his wife to you though, so it ain't nah. like. I ain't nah, looking at it man. like that because I maybe your wife ain't ain't my first of all your wife ain't my wife so you looking at my wife and you didn't you didn't came over yeah this toast and shit yeah you know you know how the motherfuckers get yeah, yeah, whoa. yeah, yeah. and then he like yeah so uh, <laughs> thought about like man get the fuck out of my face no so you can go to the next guy you already y'all got my answer it's on wax no no what you got. Shit, yeah. Oh, hey, you know, play that shit, man. I mean, <laughs> d- d- disrespectfully, shit. You, 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 you didn't, you didn't started it. So let's get to it. You hey, know, what's your quote? I, 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 what's that? What's your quote? You live life what? Like, oh, double standards. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. But, but it, it, here's the thing, you know, because me. My wife be looking at me crazy if I didn't step off of the motherfucker. Like, right. you let this motherfucker say, like, right. what the fuck going on? Like, what's wrong with you? Hey, like, like, right. Hey, look, you on vacation. <laughs> hey, hey, you do, you got to push the nigga one time. You got to flex, man. You oh, yeah. Press the wife, dog. Yeah. <laughs> man, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm only, I'm giving a pat. I'm only, I'm only not popping off because <clears throat> people, when they go on, on vacation, sometimes they look in the experiment. So uh, you, you know what I mean? They might just been like, maybe they swim. And while we on this, day. while we on this motherfucking resort for the rest of the vacation, don't even look my way, nigga. Don't even, <laughs> I got to set that tone. Don't even look over here. Now, now, Dale, the only caveat is for those for those who have made this mistake vacationing prior to COVID, you can't can book the you can't book the wrong resort, right? Can I answer? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go Please, ahead. Go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Because I, I didn't even get to answer the last stack up. So can I l- let me answer this one? Go for it. I thought you did. So um yeah. so I thought you said the couple approaches you, right? I, that's why I'm gonna stick. No, why you toasting to do? You at you you go to the bar and you at the bar and y'all you y'all throwing back shots with another couple, but the dude approaches you and basically says like you know you down for swinging for the night. Try so I'm assuming that. that his girl is with it too. Then right, he just happened to be the one that you came come over and asked. Energy, you coming with the energy that I thought Low was gonna come with, but but yeah. So apparently the wife. I mean, because I mean, well, too. number one, <clears throat> I, well, I'm gonna take it if if it's a couple. Then they're with it. I'm not gonna be salty. 
because they might be with it. I right. mean, that's what they that's what they own. Why am I be mad? Right. So you don't feel no way that what, the niggas to get mad at you. Don't, you don't feel okay, no so way that if, he's sizing your woman up. OK, Dale. So switch it up. What if the chick comes over and does it? Well, Look, that's, yeah, you know, me and my hey, husband. Look. Me and my hold on, no, I'm hold on. <laughs> me and my husband, you know what I'm saying? We we were talking. Y'all okay. seem cool, you know what I mean? What what's up? You know, whatever the whatever the pitch is, you know, and but she brings it up. I mean, what I don't I guess I'm confused. Like no, Jay, what's to get I mad answered at? that. Jay, I answered. No. I said if the chick approached me, my, my mood different. I'm not gonna disrespect her <clears throat> because it's just her. But but what, what if that, she's the one that's the that's 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 one to do it? No, nah, but but we don't know that. So if the dude is approaching you, you don't know if she really wants to or not because he's the one asking you, "Hey, what's up, the man?" Dude approaching me. Yeah, all that says to you. me is that you che you checking out my wife and you've been checking out my wife right in front your, of my face. But what if the chick was sizing up your wife? I mean, you know, that's Damn, what that's I, a good question. We're sizing up you. Hey, so that's what I'm saying. So why I get hey, mad? Hey, you popping off for nothing, maybe. Too. How about that? How about oh, so that? I check her ass too. <laughs> How about that? Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna just, that shit I'm over just, there, boo. I'm a respectfully decline. Yeah, respectfully decline. I'm not gonna well, be upset. Hey, they hey, may be hey, on that. Hey, look, because even like I've I've had I've had friends who told me they've been on on vacation. And like has seen like a female, you know, by themselves or whatever. And then the wife will later be like, you know, so what if I, you know, she, what if she came over? Would you be down? Like, you know what I mean? Like, wait. So like those conversations happen sometimes when you on vacation. I'm not saying that you actually nah. you actually act on it, but you know, you nah. you kind of living in a different little situation sometimes. All nah, but look, but check, me, but check this. So like I was saying before, for <laughs> those who have booked vacation and my thing is it at the wrong resort, you may book <laughs> the wrong resort. <laughs> And you might you be at the know. swinging might resort. That, that heat, hedonism. You might be at that hedonism. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, always, you all weekend. You like, man, why are these niggas keep fucking fucking with me and my wife, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, Adults only hedonism. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. I didn't heard some shit about hedonism too, though. man. Go ahead. Jay. I mean, I don't know. I I didn't I didn't, I didn't been approached. I didn't been approached by a couple. Now it was a little different scenario because it was just me. But they approached me, and the way that they do it, they was on this. The way that they do it, you know what I'm saying. I guess for just to keep things cool, you know, they the female. You know, she came up to me and was like, you know, me and my me and my dude, you know, I think you look nice. And uh, I, you know, obviously I wasn't with the shit, but, you know, I didn't get mad. That's what they own. I don't give a shit what you do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on back up, no, back up, no, back up. No, Wait a minute. No, no. You were by me. yourself? That's different. <laughs> Love I was, man, lying. <laughs> you was by yourself? I was by myself. <laughs> oh, so wait a minute. You got the, the, the intro to mm. smash with the hubby? Yes. Feezy. <laughs> Feezy. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. <laughs> he, he, he was like, no. Nah. He didn't say no. Jason no, I didn't say no. I didn't Let's say be clear, no, man. It, but that's not the same, though. My whole thing with the it, whole it, the whole proposal is just the same. that you that you've been checking out my wife the whole. That that's what's going on in my mind. That's the way my mind. But you works. for you leaving out the female, shit. Dale. You leaving out the chick. You just making it seem like it's just the dude. Like he went off from his his. Chick I don't care about that shit, though. I don't care. Right. All, <laughs> I heard, all I heard was what if, what if his wife is the one who. Told all I heard was. That's what I'm saying. What All is this I heard was, nigga, it? I'm trying to take down your wife. Do I have nah. you? <laughs> right. No. Quit that shit. Come on. But what what the fuck y'all talking about? Yeah, so what if the chick comes that's... over? No, we already answered that. That's what we said. Right. We already answered that. No. So that. it's okay if she comes man. over, but it's not okay no, if he comes the... over? Nigga, go that way. <laughs> Don't even look this way no more. Go that way. <laughs> I Look live by a double standard. Nah, yeah, you're I'm, absolutely I'm, I'm right. Just, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> yeah, that don't make sense to me. Go that way. 
period. No, 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 Jay, Jay. No, you said respectfully decline, but I, Low and Dale's point is that the whole time they just feel like they've been duped. Yeah. You know I mean? You've been kicking it with these Listen, niggas first of all, the whole night. Vacation. Who gives a fuck? All you got to do is say well, no yeah. if you ain't with it. I you ain't do. never going to see I these do. people again. So do you, 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 you think y'all friends, just because y'all been drinking at the bar, you already yep. been duped. That yep. way. That's just disrespect. Nigga, even if his wife would look good, I wouldn't have the audacity to be like, hey, nigga, nigga. <laughs> so, so, no, so, Jay, so, Jay, the question is, Jason, so, Jason, sister look, the question Gina, is this. Gina. Look, the question is this, Jay. Say you're the guy that you want to swing with another couple, oh. and you're the guy approaching a person like me, Dale mm. Lowe. You don't you wouldn't you you you, you, you mean like to tell me you off. you ain't gonna be like oh shit this nigga might might be like man what the fuck Listen, nigga? man I think again no because I, you know why because again if I'm in that life this is the shit that this is what I do that way. so why would I think I don't know what you're on you might be with it you might not no. but yeah and, you're approaching think, another guy think, to hit his wife though and okay think, so then you, I'll have my wife go up to him. You ain't. I think you ain't taking into consideration the the vacation portion of this. Like people are willing to do some things that they might not even be willing to do at home. They gonna try maybe outside of when they in the Bahamas or when they in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? They might. They you, you never know. Next, hey, hey, they, look when they in DC, Mexico. I mean, we're here to swing from Mexico with Nas right. out there. I mean, y'all not, y'all not, y'all not swingers, so maybe I, I get why you would say that. You oh, not no, in that Jay. swinging life. Oh, Jay, no, they I doing the shit here in DC. To it. Trust like, me, I wouldn't be and ready then, to fight. Hey, low, in hey, that low, life, and then, man, that that ain't nothing, man. Hey, in that man. life, that's nothing. Low, when you shoot the nigga down, he gonna be like, "Oh, nigga, you know, I was just playing out." Right, 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 right. right. Nah, man, right. I was just fucking with you. I wasn't looking at your old lady. Hey, hey, hit your arm. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't knock your wife off, bro. I wouldn't knock your wife. I wouldn't even do that to you. <laughs> All right, man. Hold on. Next stack up, man. It's still, Ooh. it's still spicy, Jasmine. Man, G gonna be mad. He missed this one though. That was gonna be listening. Don't be listening, Jasmine. All right. Mm. Which is sexier? Or which one do you prefer? The red lingerie or the trench coat with nothing under underneath? I mean, that, is that a is that nigga? These is all Whoa, that's right. easy too. No, no, no. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Here we time go. Out, Come on, Low. Break it down, Low. So, right. So is, is it brunch boots? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> is it is it is it trench coat? She popping up at the crib. It's ain't you know what I mean? It's like years ago, popping the crib with the trench coat mm-hmm. on. Trench coat, okay, yeah, trench coat. You see what I'm crib. saying? Trent, do you want? Do you do you she want? Show the, up? No, no, no. Okay, uh, let me set this up a little better. Yeah. Do, 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 would you rather? Um, would you rather her show up to your crib with the trench coat, nothing on underneath it, or y'all just had a nice evening and she dress up in the red lingerie? I'm trench coat mafia, man. Trench coat mafia, baby. <laughs> trench coat mafia, baby. Mm. I'm trench coat to the day I die, bro. Yeah, that's no question. Yeah, trench coat mafia. I man. want you to show up. Is that just, is it, or is that just a thing for me? Because dog, the the red lingerie, nigga, with the strap. That's gonna come off anyway. So let's skip that middle man. Uh, but just the presentation, man. Like just the, the strap. I do appreciate like, really sexy lingerie. I do. Fuck yeah. But like I the know. idea of you when I open that door, you got to thank you. Got that that floor length. Thank trick you, man. Yeah. And yeah, that boy, and it's just like what? It's raining. It's raining yeah, outside. Yeah, because whatever. Damn, I, I should have said rain, but you know, it was, it's rain. <laughs> Why was I thinking rain? <laughs> hey, damn. Especially, especially because like, like all of the stuff that you had to do with that that lingerie. Yeah, I don't have to do with that when that when that trench coat come off. Yeah. It's it's a wrap after that. We ain't got to do no tea. We ain't got to talk. It's it's just trench coat mafia all night. Lingerie can be too formal sometimes, so I'm gonna go trench coat, man. 
Yeah, I'm sure like, Scope Muffy like, too. Don't make, don't, ladies, and do not mistake sleep that. On the red I lingerie. Sleep loving lingerie, please. No, I ain't shit about the lingerie, this, but I mean, like, how about hey. this? I mean, Vi Vi Victoria Secretions, man, that shit getting played a little bit, man. You got to, yeah, you got to step not up. That oh, no, nah, hold on. Not that Fenty. No, not no, that I was about Fenty. to say you got to. That's not Victoria's Secret, though. Hold on, I don't give a fuck. There's what a difference. It, oh, I, don't I don't care, care what it is. Listen, be clear. I don't give a fuck what brand it is, nigga. <laughs> if you got the red straps. No, nah, everybody, look, everybody, no, hold on, straps. hold on, Dale. Everybody ain't made for that Victoria Secretions, brother. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I don't know about everybody else, but I know everybody ain't me, made for that. Man, <laughs> you come with them red straps. <laughs> it's so formal. This guy, this man, guy said the red the, straps and then sat the back. Straps, man, the straps. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. No, this, 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 this getting the this getting the thong, man. Just thong it up. I'm good. But trench coat, trench coat mafia. Trench is, coat mafia. Hey, low. You hear me? Trench coat mafia. Thong right? it up. Thong it up, I'm good, man. Thong yeah. it up with a rope. We got some hey, heels hey, on. Hey, hey, but but you know a classic that I still love is the t-shirt and your panties. Like you got my wife beater on or something, and you just got some panties on, yeah. bro. Wife beater, wife beater definitely go, bro. I mean, wife, oh yeah, go, wife man. beater and <laughs> the wife panties. Go. Yeah, it would be go, man. I, man. That side, that right. side, that Hold side, on. that the side boobs, hands. Yeah, side boobs. yeah. <laughs> Side boob is good. I'm about, I'm about, side boob is I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to fuck y'all up, man. Um, hey, man, we need to talk offline too, fellas. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to fuck y'all up on this. <laughs> what, what, what happened? About to fuck, fuck y'all up. On, let me fuck y'all up on this last one. All right. All right. Set this up. You get a phone call. Phone call is obviously from your wife, your wife, your spouse. You pick up the phone. Somebody on that other end is getting motherfucking hammered. I mean, nailed to the wall. Punished. Like motherfucking, like, like Jay Slay, like just, just getting motherfucking just pounded. Okay. Just being disrespectful now. Just <laughs> so. You get that phone call. <laughs> do you hang up or do you listen to the whole thing? <laughs> not knowing who it not not knowing for sure. Not knowing for sure. Nigga. I'm recording. I'm recording. <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who did I just call again? No, they called your phone rings. Okay. And it's who your is your wife? Your it's your wife's phone. <laughs> your wife calls you. And you said someone, it ain't her. And you, ask, you don't know. <laughs> the key is you don't know. I'm a, a, my, my assumption, she is her. Okay. <laughs> but I'm saying, but you don't know. Oh, shit. Nah, no, 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 do no, you no, hang, no. You hang up? <laughs> no, no, who you talking to, Lo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm listening. I ain't talking. So look, check I'm it. listening. So me, I'm going to answer this first. Mm. If somebody got my wife phone and they getting pounded, the mm. only person that owns my wife phone is her. So Ooh, wait, fuck. I don't want to listen. Okay. I'm so you, so I'm, since you know, so hey, since wait. you know it's her, you gonna listen to the whole thing? No, now, I'm, I'm so, that shit. What, now, what is it? Slide it from the corner. You slide, yeah. slide the you screen from the corner and hit record. <laughs> Why would you want to record your wife getting banged? Because down? I gotta tell my attorney something. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell my attorney. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> what are you here for? This nigga. So hold on. So hold on. Hold on. Me. Me. Take that out your mind, dog. So you still listening or you hanging up? No, no I'm hanging up. I'm pissed. Oh. I'm calling low. I'm calling low. <laughs> I want to hear it. It's on. They, he going to be like, man, where you at? I'm going to be like, man. It's time, dog. It's time. <laughs> I didn't. Hey, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up, son. <laughs> Out of here. Hey, let's go. hey, let's cast, go. cast me like this. Hey, hey, no, <laughs> no. Uh, it's time, dog. Stop. I need two weeks. Two weeks, man. I'm, I, I'm out. Tell, tell me where to go. Tell uh, me where up. to go. I'm out. <laughs> Naz, what you, Naz? So, so Naz, you, you recording? You staying? Nigga, I'm recording. 
So you about you you about to listen to all that? I'm, I need to hear names. I need to hear what's in the background. Yeah, so I need you to staying be, on for proof? Oh, I'm staying on. Oh, there's no question. Oh, my oh there's no question. So you're not tripping about the? Okay, okay, all right, all right. I, there's no question. Please, I'm staying please, on. Please, what you doing? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna listen too. Damn. What? <laughs> he said, damn. Oh, damn. I'm too emotional, man. I ain't listening. Oh, I'm listening. Fuck that nope, shit. I want I want I'm like Nas. I want to hear everything so that way when that conversation is had, I'm laying that shit out. Like, oh yeah? Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Man, that uh, uh, I lay out okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's just let's just get yes or no real quick. Low, what you got? And we then we go circle back and we 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 go. I want to hit a rationale. Low, what you got? Shit, yeah, I'm missing it. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Most definitely. Yes, for me. Hey, Wait a listen, minute, man. I'm listen. Confused. I'm, I'm, I'm recording the whole thing, 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 thing so I can play it back, bro. Hey. Uh, so let me answer. Let me answer real world? quick. Let me answer real quick. Let me answer real quick. I'm conflicted, right? Thank you. I'm I'm right. conflicted. I'm I'm with me because the way my mind work, I like if they and, and understand when I say I mean like. Punish, nigga, like, like wearing that ass out, and you gotta hear that shit. I don't even care. I don't care. I just if, need I don't to care know. If, if I think I just, I just, weak need, dick. I just need to know because I, I know, what, <laughs> like, I know what mine sound like, right? So I just need to know once I once I hear when I get the confirmation that that's her, then I'm hanging up. Nah, I can't stand. I need it nah. all. I don't care. I, if she get, I don't care if she getting bad. D. I want to hear it all. Just so I mean, the question. The, the 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 dilemma is she getting motherfucking massive. Don't matter okay. if you get don't matter if you getting it weak. You still getting it. Who cares? It. Nah. Do you right. care Who if she getting it weak or, or strong? Uh -huh. I can't take right. that shit. Not I. I, I just, you gonna you you ain't gonna be as mad if the D was bad. I'm gonna say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, like, what does it matter? But does it matter? I'm gonna say this. I can't hear that shit. I don't. I don't want to hear that shit. Bruh, I don't care if the moans is faint. If the moans is faint, or if she's screaming like King Kong banging her out, it don't right. matter, bro. I want it all. I want to hear. This hold on. This, this is just like uh, we had talked about before. You know, oh, uh, indeed, indeed, proposal. No, 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 no. It's like from a while ago. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know uh, all the details if, you know what I mean, your, your wife, you know what I mean, stepped out or whatever? Then some, some conversation. Yeah. That's yeah. This is yeah. a little different, right. though. This is different. This You talking about, like, if she comes to you and proof. confesses as opposed to you actually having proof. Nigga, it's real time. Real time. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Well, I need to know. And, look, and, and when I go see Harshman and Gravellas, my attorneys, I'm a, I need to, I need proof, bro. But I'm gonna say this: she, look, she it, the it's even look, it's it's even worse, right? Because with, with, with technology, dog, like if y'all got iPhones, you know you can go into a FaceTime call. That was a, that was my next question. My next question was gonna be: Do you do you try to switch to FaceTime mode? I might do it because I'm I, once I see it. I can't I'm telling see. you, oh, I'm calling. No. I'm calling. Oh, I can't see though. Look, I'm telling oh, you, I might yeah. do it. That'd be first my of all. First of all, the the that'd balls be my confirmation. Of you I'm to hanging up. Answer that I'm call. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of there. But it, I'm, I'm saying, if, they, if it's a butt call, down, if it's a butt down, they ass cheeks hit it <laughs> and they and picked up the phone. So you were hoping that if you hit the FaceTime button, that they ass cheeks is going to accept. Right. And look, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I, once I get visual confirmation, I already heard everything I needed. Listen, I'm out of here, dog. Two weeks. I'm out. Audio? Y'all be like, man, that nigga been gone for two weeks, dog. What happened? It's up. It's that up. Audio it's is going, that audio is walking oh, into the attorney's oh, office man. on Monday. But you, but yeah. you, uh, uh, off the side, man, you don't know what you do. Because, I mean, I know I, I probably cry. Oh, oh you know yeah. I, 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 I cry, I cry out. Sure. But listen, no. listen, I'm going to phone. Hey, 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 you can get yours, B. You can get yours. <laughs> right. Yeah, look. 
<laughs> look, Lo, I swear to God, I'm on the plane. I'm you like, got me here watching the kids. Look, I'm out here <laughs> watching the kids while you over there getting your ass big. Like, oh, no, nah, bro, I'm on the plane or the bus, or wherever I'm, wherever I'm, I'm flying and shit. Like, man, man, listen, man. Man, <laughs> right. I'm fucked up. Man. Yeah, man. And then what's that conversation going to be like when they get home? I don't if know, you man, hang up too ain't soon, no, I'm going to be there. If you, if you hang Nobody. up too soon, <laughs> if you hang up too soon, then your, 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 your ego and everything going to get the best of you. You know what I'm I saying? I ain't going to front. Ain't, ain't, ain't no too conversation. Soon. Ain't no conversation. Yeah, I'm just going to hit play. That's, That's going to be the conversation. That's it. it. It's gonna have I'm to play. She gonna be like, "That was my girlfriend." No, my girl, my girl was getting, and, and my phone was in the room, right. and I went down to the bar while they was getting it. Nah, bro. Nah, it's, it's uh, gonna have to be, be a like mediator, this. man. A mediator. To, well, I'm, I'm saying like back this. To the crib. Oh man. Nah, like this. She gonna know because she can get when she pick up her phone. It's gonna be so many alerts from my uh, 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 withdrawals from the account. She's <laughs> 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 gonna be like, God, God damn. swipes. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna know. God, <laughs> oh, yeah. he gone. He gone. He gone. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> so many right. Um, <laughs> he gone. <laughs> he hit the emergency reserve. So <laughs> right. Oh man. But you know what's funny, Dale? It's some Hollywood <laughs> shit going on right now that didn't happen, just like what we described. Of course, for sure, man. That shit ain't happening. Mm. Fuck that. Shit. It's gonna be. Fuck yeah. Thank, no. Thanks, thanks, Dale. Now, now I'm about to, I'm about to go to bed all angry and shit. <laughs> I know. Bro. I know. Go wake her up, like, hey, hey, having dreams. Hey. You wake up in the morning, like, man, I had a dream with your ass, motherfucker. Fuck some nigga while you was on the phone with me, man. This is some bullshit. Yeah, I don't even want to think like that, man. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Dale. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate bro. it. I should have started out with that one. But <laughs> no, I, no, you know, you ended it off right. It's all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, you you, you gonna awesome. shake some houses up tonight, man. Good yeah. job. <laughs> but yeah, man. But yeah. So uh, just to button this thing up, man. That that was uh that, yeah that 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 was it for the night, man. And, and, and in case uh uh you know everybody don't know, man. I, first and first first and foremost, dog, I gotta thank each one of y'all for for reaching out to me this week. Um, man, all y'all reached out to me, man. That shit means a lot. Um, uh, and man, I'm hosting, so it's only right, man. I gotta give it up. I gotta say uh, rest in peace to my little cousin. My little cousin, I'm repping MJ. You know, he's a, he's an advocate for MJ. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm repping for my little cuz, man. Can't believe he gone, but uh, this was a rough week for me, dog. I needed these, I needed these laughs, man. This is the most I've laughed in a while, man. Right. So uh, I, I I I appreciate y'all. What's up? Appreciate y'all uh, getting on here, and I appreciate y'all checking on me throughout the week, man. It, it's been rough, man. Continue to pray. For my family, uh, continue to pray for my my cousins, look his, his kids, and everybody affected, man. So, uh, man, love you, cuz. Gonna miss you, man, man, man. Rest in power. Uh, so, till next time, on a on a happier note, man. This is the PCP boys. Check us out on all of the different platforms, uh, man. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. Check out uh, Jamila. Check out her book. Check out our page for details on her book. Uh, until we next love you, time, Jamila. Man. And 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 uh, yeah, man. Like, subscribe, comment, all that, man. This is the PCP boys, man. If you don't know, you already know, man. Go get your motherfucking fix. Get your God, fix, dog. Get your fix. Peace and love. Peace and love. We out. Rest in peace, cuz I love you, dog.